Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. As the holiday shopping season comes to an end, one economic indicator continues to spread cheer to Missouri businesses this year. Last-minute shoppers contributed to decade-high retail numbers the week ending December 24th. Consumer purchases increased 6.5% from the previous year. An increase in consumer spending is expected to continue through the new year, according to national economic research organizations. More than 20 million Missouri State Park visitors in 2016 set a new attendance record for the state. State officials announced the milestone, highlighting the concerted effort by many to boost Missouri tourism. Visitors to Missouri in fiscal year 15 spent a record $1.02 billion and supported more than 14,000 jobs. There are 91 announced in operating state parks in the Show Me State. Data from the U.S. Department of Education showed a state graduation rate of 87.8 percent, up 7 percentage points from 2010. Missouri also handedly beat the national average of 83.2 percent, earning the state a top 10 finish in national graduation rate rankings. High quality talent is also one of the many reasons businesses are attracted to the Show Me State. Missouri will participate in Expo Manufactura, a trade show in Monterey, Mexico, to highlight production and manufacturing. The Expo, taking place February 7th through the 9th, gives business owners the opportunity to exhibit their products and create a global manufacturing network. With this week's tech news, here's Adam Brake. This week in tech news, Missouri's innovation scene is booming. The Missouri Technology Corporation, a public-private organization dedicated to growing show-me state tech and bioscience companies, indicated that its portfolio companies raised more than $60 million in private capital and received nearly $7 million in co-investments and created over 1,000 jobs. The organization also recently announced $2.6 million in co-investments in 10 growing innovative companies. Thanks, Adam. And that is Missouri Business Today. With more on this week's story, visit MissouriBusinessToday.com.